Hey guys, today I'm going to show you the scope within scope effect or bonus scope or glowing scope, whatever you want to call it. Um, it hasn't really got a name, um, I've just basically made an effect up and it seemed to work quite nice. So, I'm going to be showing you this effect here, as you can see in the preview. Uh, it looks really nice in a, a montage. So, what you want to do is, I'm just going to delete these here so I don't have them, is you want to import your clip, obviously into Sony Vegas do whatever trimming down you need and find the part where you want the effect to start on your scope so I want it to start there you can delete the audio for this if you want um, I'm just going to find where it ends as well about there I'm just going to show you how to do it um, just briefly um, and then you just obviously want to go in more detail than what I'm going to go into. So, first things first is you obviously have your scope zooming in just here like this, okay? And what we want to do is have a like the scope effect in here on the actual scope itself. So what you want to do is zoom in on the first keyframe that he's actually like fully zoomed in, and you want to take a snapshot and you want to save the snapshot like this, and then you want to drag and drop it above. Uh, the other video so like this and now what you want to do is you want to hit event pan crop and you want to hit mask you might want to zoom in for this um, to make it a bit neater but like I said I'm only going to do it rough so is you want to basically go all the way around the scope but really neatly I'm just going to do it rushed like so all the way around and we're nearly done. The neater you do it and the closer you get to the line, the easier it will be for you basically to do the effect. So the neater you do it, the better. Right, so now what you want to do is you want to hit event pan crop again and hit position. And now you want to resize this, as you'll be able to see on the screen now, uh, when I move it about and resize it, it's going to change on the actual screen itself as well. You want to make sure that this circle fits exactly in the scope like this. This takes a lot of adjustments um, and it can be a pain in the ass to do but it does look really good with the end product. Nearly there. It might be a bit easier for you guys because I have to do this on a laptop. All right, so. Right, you might want to move that in just a tiny bit more. All right. Okay, so it will look something like that. Um, you might want to have your zoomed in just a little bit. Then what you want to do is go across one keyframe and then you want to basically match it in the exact same spot. So we're going to have to enlarge it because it's zoomed in a tiny bit. Like that. And you basically all you got to do is you got to make sure that it, it stays in line the whole time. So as you can see, there's no movement when I do that now because I've done that pretty much smack on. Again, as you zoom in, you get a black line along here, so you just want to hide that black line um, and enlarge this again, this uh, scoping part. So, you, all you then do is you have to make sure that's like done all the way across, so until it's fully zoomed in. Um, so, example, you have to do it all the way until the scope's fully zoomed in um, and like I said this this is a pain to do this effect but it looks really nice um, so I'll just trim that down just a little bit so you gotta make sure that it sits in your scope like that at the end um, what you wanna then do is add the glow effect wherever you are there and you wanna hit um, white intense and you can change the glow percentage if you want and um, what I use for my effect is white highlights and as you can see it's highlighted here but I just increase the, uh, increase the uh, glow percent and the intensity upwards so it looked a bit like that then what I did was I opened up Sony Vegas so if I save, I'm going to save that as a snapshot but obviously you'd render out your clip what I'm going to do is I'll open up Sony Vegas Image 21 there. There 
Okay, right. I'm just going to drag and drop that clip into Sony Vegas. Right, now if you have Magic Bullets, um, obviously from my download, uh, I gave you a pack for Magic Bullets looks um, and you've got different types of looks. What you want to add is the hardcore um, edit, so the hardcore here. So you've got these hardcore glows here. You see you've got the glowing um, scope there. So, I mean, that's basically it. Once, obviously, all your frames are keyed and the scopes move in, you will obviously get that. You'll obviously get this effect here. So it'll look really nice. you get this one here. Like that. So, um, I mean, that's basically it. I mean, it's quite hard to explain, but once you get it going, then it does look really nice in an effect. So... That's basically it guys, if this helped then comment, rate, subscribe, um, please thumbs up the video and I'll catch you guys later.